Hello, Mass Lovers. Today I'll be explaining the division process in number bins, particularly with this particular example on the board that says divide 1, 4, 2, 3, base 5 by 2, 4, base 5. Okay, so there are two methods to doing this. So the first method is by long division, and the second method is by conversion. So that particular second method is since the question is on is in base 5 so what what we'll do is we convert from base 5 to base 10 then we also convert our divisor to base 10 we divide our answer and after that we divide what we get and after that convert what we get to base 5 so now the long division method is what I'm going to start with and after that I will do the conversion method so let's do it together solution So the first thing we are going to do in this long division method, the question is, particularly this question is 1, 4, 2, 3, base 5, divided by 2, 4, base 5. So the first thing we need to do here is to multiply our, div our divisor by the individual numbers in the dividend. So this is called the dividend, this is the divisor. So we multiply 24 by 1, multiply 24 by 2, multiply 24 by 3, multiply 24 by 4. So we use that, those multiplications in the long division process. So let's do it together. Now 24 multiplied by 1 is equal to what 24. Now I, I need you to understand that the multiplication process is also in base 5. So everything we're doing here is in base 5. So 24 also multiplied by 2 is again equal to what? Now let's do the multiplication here. We have 2, 4 multiplied by 2. Now 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. But there's no 8 in base 5. The highest number in base 5 is 4. So what is 8 in base 5? 8 in base 5 is basically um, you have one remainder 3. That's how many times does 5 goes into what 8? One remainder 3. I have 8, I have 5, 1 remainder what 3. So I'll write what the remainder here and we'll keep that 1. We'll keep the 1 aside. Again, 2 multiplied by 2 is what? 4 plus the 1 outside makes it what? 5. Now what is 5 in base 5? What is 5 in base 5? 5 in base 5 is 1 remainder 0. So write it 1 remainder. So 24 in base 5 multiplied by 2 is now what? 1, 0, 3 in base 5. So we have 1, 0, 3 is 3. So 24, 24 multiplied, I mean 4 multiplied by, 4 multiplied by 3 gives us what? 12. Gives us 12. Wow, what is 12? In base 5. 12 in base 5 is 2 remainder 2. So this is 12 and we have 5 here which is what 2 remainder 2. So we write our remainder which is what 2 and keep the other one. Right? Now 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 6 plus the 2 outside is 8. We just did 8 which is what 1 remainder 3. So I'll just write it 1 remainder. So we have um, now, two, 24 multiplied by 3 is now 1, 1, 3, 2 in base 5. So this is 24 multiplied by 3, which is 1, 3, 2 in base 5. Now, finally, finally, we have 24 multiplied by 4 now. Now, 4 times 4 is 16. 16. So what is 16 in base 5? That's how many times does 5 goes into 16? So we have 3 remainder 1. So that's 16 divided by 5 is 3 remainder 1. So I'll write the remainder which is what 1. I'll keep 3 aside. Keep 3 aside. Also, 4 multiplied by 2. 4 multiplied by 2 is what? Is 8. 8 plus 
that three that was outside is um 11 now what is 11 in base 5 11 in base 5 is 2 remainder 1 so we have 2 remainder 1 here so this is now 2 1 1 okay we've gotten our multiplications now let's do the long division we we'll draw a line here so we'll draw this line and we'll write our divisor which is 24 here and the dividend which is one four two three okay now if you look at the multiplications that we just did here what is the number that is close to one four two here what is the number that is close to one four two particularly is this one here one three two that is if you multiply 24 by what three so i'm going to write the three here that is 3 multiplied by 24 gives us what? 1, 3, 2. So we'll rule the line here, put a, a minus sign here. 1 minus 1 is what? 0. I'll put the dot. Um, 4 minus 3 is what? 1. Let's put 1. 2 minus 2 is what? 0. Now let's bring down this 3. 3 here. Now, what, now, what are we going to divide? What are we going to multiply to 24 that will give us exactly this? 1, 0, oh, 3. 103 or a number close to it is this this is it it's two right so we'll put down the two here now two multiplied by 24 is what 103 we'll draw a line and put the minus sign one minus one is what zero zero and three minus three is also what zero so finally finally therefore one four two three divided by 2 4 all in base 5 base 5 is now equal to 3 2 base 5 so this is it this is it so i am going to clean this i'm going to clean this and i'll show you how to what do the second method i have to do what convert how to do with conversion um, so the first thing we are going to do here is to convert this number the number is 1 4 2 3 base 5 to base 10 and in converting this particular number to base 10 is to multiply the individual number by what the base and write the power so i have one multiplied by what by plus four multiplied by five plus two multiplied by five plus three multiplied by five so the least base here the least the least power is zero right so let's write it on the base. We have zero here, we have one here, we have two here, we have three here. Now this is the fourth. Now, so what? Five raised to the power of three is the same thing as five times five times five in three places, which is one twenty-five. One twenty-five times one gives us one twenty-five. One, two, five plus. Now five raised to the power of two is five times five, which is what twenty-five. Twenty-five times four is one hundred. 100 plus 5 raised to the power of 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. So we have 10 plus 5 raised to the power of 0 is 1 times 3 is 3. So if we add all these numbers, we have 125 plus 100 is 225 plus 10 is 235 plus 3 is 238 base 10. 38 base 10 okay now the device of which is 24 24 base 5 is equal to 2 times 5 plus 4 times 5 so this is the power here is 0 the power here is 1 and we have um, 5 to the power of what 1 is 5 5 times 2 is 10 5 to the power of 0 is 1 times 4 is 4 so this is basically 14 base 10 so <coughs> therefore like i said after the conversion we now divide we've gotten this gotten this as base 10 we've got we've gotten this as base 10 <coughs> so the next thing is what is to divide so this means that 4 2 3 base 5 divided by 
two four six five is also equal to two three eight is ten divided by one four is ten which is equal to seventeen is ten seventeen base ten so the next thing the next thing to do is since we've gotten um this as was 17 base 10. Our answer is not supposed to be in base 10, it's supposed to be in base 5. Then we'll now convert 17 to what base 5. So I'll draw a line here. Now write draw a line here and I'll write my what 17 and the remainder and the new base which is 5. Now 17 divided by 5 is 3 remainder 2. That's 3 times 5 is what? 15 plus 2 17. So we have 3 here. We have 2. Now, um, 3 divided by 5. 3 divided by 5 is what? 0. Remainder 3. So if we take this from the, the down part to the top, we have that um, 17 base 10 is equal to 32 base 5. So generally, this is now. Our answer is equal to what? 3, 2, base 5. So that is it. That is it. So thank you guys for watching.